Black poor bros seem to be a high commodity nowadays, so let's just go ahead and get straight into it. This is another case of black women not minding their business. Y'all didn't care about meal or the bras until black men happened to make it popular, but of course you feel entitled to being the BBC commander when something no longer benefits you, although these are the same men that you said you didn't want, didn't need, and they are broke. I'm going to be honest, going overseas to travel frequently and live does not equate to broke. But then again, this just simply speaks to the delusion and hypocrisy of women. These men have been very clear in their message. They've said time and time again they wanted wives, someone they could build with, start their family with, someone they could create a legacy with. What y'all heard was they wanted someone that they can control. Y'all minimize being a wife simply down to being a slave, even so much as telling those other women overseas that they're uneducated and practicing sex tourism. And in turn, a lot of y'all have took your degree and traded the end for an OnlyFans profile. Nobody I know a lot of us have been seeing lately on TikTok these alleged passport bros and the well-traveled bachelor who swears that he is going to foreign countries and picking up women. There are no foreign countries or women on his page, so I'm not sure why he is um, attempting to pass that off. But nevertheless, there are some men who are believing him and thinking that this option easily exists based on what he's saying. However, he's very clearly holding up a pretend or a completely unused passport. So I just wanted to show everybody to today what a used passport looks like so that people can stop being deceived by someone who has never used his passport a day in his life into thinking that they have options that they and he both do not have. So I keep my passport in here. I'm going to pull it out. My passport has been to four other countries, so I am by no means a globe trotter. But as you see, it shows some signs of wear and tear. When I take it out, it immediately opens up. The pages are no longer sticky with newness. You can see all throughout my passport. Um, I spilled some hair oil on it when I was traveling, so it is stained. There is a stamp from when I went to Heathrow. There is a visa from when I went to Russia. There is another one from Russia, some from Brazil. So anybody who has traveled with their passport can open it up and show you um, any stamps. And he has been unwilling or unable to open his passport and show us where he has gone. He cannot post any TikToks that show us where he has gone. He cannot show us any women that he has pulled. So I just say this to remind everybody, do not let social media deceive you into thinking that you have options that you do not have. He does not have that option. Many of you do not have that option. That is okay. Please stop playing pretend on the internet in your 50s. Why would you be a dancer as somebody with degrees? So she's got degrees. Well, this question is very condescending because the underlying assumption is people with degrees are smart and dancers aren't. So why would you do that? Um, there's actually a huge overlap in these two groups. Lots of dancers have degrees. If you knew anything about dancers, you would know that, but that's okay. Um, so for me, it is because I'm smart that I choose to be a dancer. If I were to use my degrees right now, now, bachelor's degrees as they stand, I could make 20 to $25 an hour in my field of study. If I went back to school for another couple years and got a master's degree, I could make maybe $30, $35 an hour at the absolute best, absolute best for my field of study. Because I keep track of my tips, I know that my average as a dancer is $150 per hour. Of course, some days it's way more, some days it's way less. That's just my average. So even when you account for transportation, for house fees, for tip outs, for costumes, for appearance related costs, I'm still making significantly more than what I would be making um, if I were just working a nine to five. Now, in addition to the actual money aspect, I also have all of my most productive hours in any given day to myself. I'm a morning person, so my best hours are morning to mid-afternoon. 
If I were working a nine to five, I just would not get any of that time. I would get up, I would get ready for work, I'd go to work, I'd come home. It would be dark when I leave and it would be dark when I come back. That's really depressing to me, honestly, like extremely sad to think about. Um, I've done that before for periods of life and I hated it. It's not for me, I don't enjoy that. Um, also, to me, it makes sense to concentrate the bulk of my earning while I'm actually young enough to enjoy it. So right now my body is in its prime. I'm great, I'm in shape. I can sit on long flights. Um, I don't have children. I don't have a baby daddy. There's no one whose permission I have to ask to leave town. I don't have to request time off, I just take it. So it's really an obvious answer to me why someone would choose to be a dancer um, instead of anything else because they are smart, right? Um, and people like to say, well, you can't do that forever. You're not always going to be pretty. Right. And that's very true. I can't be a dancer forever. But since I'm making five to six times what most of my peers are making right now, it doesn't matter if I can do this forever or not. Nobody said anything when women were going to Dubai. We know why you were going. Nobody said anything when women were flying state to state getting flewed out. We know what you were doing. Nobody said anything. Some people have never seen $10,000 in their life, man. You just need to look pretty and get $10,000 and be on that uh, flight and go and do what you have to do. I always feel like it has to be something that is unique because it's crazy things you're asked to do. You're told to suck tools, to do what? Like, it's crazy. You can suck. Like, I don't want to go deep. I don't want to go into deep. Some dark, demented, twisted shit is going down in Dubai behind closed doors. Multi-billionaires have too much money to know what to do with themselves, and so they're using their power to satisfy whatever weird sick fetishes they have. And it's not just porta potty Instagram models that have been exposed. There's much worse that's going down. So let's investigate. Rich people paying the poor to eat their shit, and vice versa, has actually been happening for years. And it's only coming to the surface now because of social media and mass communication. Currently, the going rate is 30 to 40k to be someone's human toilet for the weekend. A lot of people feel that that is not enough and others are going ahead and doing what's being asked of them. Have you ever wondered how your favourite Instagram model got on board a $100 million yacht? It's pretty clear that sponsorships don't cover those types of fees. There's some dark shit that's happening at these mega yacht parties that people are only just starting to talk about now. What links will an Instagram model go to these days? Days to buy a Louis Vuitton bag. According to a website solely dedicated to confessions from ladies in the Dubai porta potty business, you will be disgusted. As more and more Instagram models come forward and expose the horrifying and disgusting experiences of what else they've done for a quick 50 grand, this has begun to taint the reputation of Dubai. And I will let Mr. Ali lick the rules of my feet. I will also. Um, uh, his virgin brother, who is 13 years old, we to have with his uh, virgin 13 years old brother. Mr. Ali is paying me 50,000 US dollars for this. Receive 25,000 US dollars two weeks before I come to Dubai. I just want to add the fact that she confessed to all that and showed her passport. Is she in jail now? Does anyone know? And now, what most you were doing? Nobody say anything when Nigerian and Jamaican men needed green cards and y'all started falsifying marriage documents so you could drive your Range Rover with your red bottoms. Number two, when I hear people criticizing the passport bros, the argument is these passport bros are going to these third world countries in quotation marks and they're exploiting these women who have no money and are poor. That's another criticism that I hear of the passport brothers. But again, there are a lot of sisters. We're going to Jamaica. So this guy in hostel has got a room back, couldn't rub two in the Yeah. And the argument I would hear here in America is a man gotta pay for everything. A man has to pay for everything. I also hear, you know what, I can't find any men on my level because us women out earn the men. I hear that as well. Meanwhile, a lot of our sisters are going to the Caribbean, they're going to West Africa, and they are fronting the bill on everything. Y'all, 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 y'all heard that? Y'all heard that? He said they're going out to Africa and they are fronting the bill on everything. Y'all heard that? Let me let me let me rewind that just real quick. 
real quick so y'all can y'all can just in case you missed it like i said and this is this is not a man who's just he's not just making this stuff up he didn't just see some random article online he's living in africa he does tours in multiple countries in africa is in relationship with people in africa lives there for you know for a couple of months out of the year from my understanding so it's like he would know <laughs> you know doing all that movement having all those opportunities he would know so let me let me hear what he said one more time in case y'all missed it and real quick if you hit the like button do that please let me play that again us women out earn the men i hear that as well meanwhile a lot of our sisters are going to the caribbean they're going to west africa and they are fronting the bill on everything. <laughs> Again, they are, and not only are they fronting the bill for their man, they are fronting the fronting the bill and paying, and also taking care of the family. Y'all, fronting the bill and taking care of the family. Like, what are we even? What are we even doing? This is what I'm saying. It's like the hypocrisy right now is just like. Is stellar. Like the amount of gaslighting, like the role playing we're doing right now, like we deserve an Academy Award. Women need like an Academy Award for this performance because it's so epic. It is so epic. It's like this, like there needs to be an award. Somebody needs to document this in history. <laughs> like how, not even how well, but just the amount of gaslighting and the need to try to play a victim in a particular role in a particular lifestyle that you yourself are doing. It's crazy. This is why I saw this and I was like, I, I like almost laughed the whole time. I was like, I don't even know if I should be laughing or crying because the level of hypocrisy is so great and so astronomical. Like it's hard for me to actually be able to process this in my mind. Like I didn't know, I didn't know hypocrisy on this kind of level existed. I, I was not aware, but I am learning every um, single day. Let's just call a spade a spade. Y'all wanted the option to go back to these men after the man that you really wanted was done dragging you through.